Hey everyone, remember that portfolio website we've built with Nox 10 Tailwind CSS in a previous video? Well, today we're deploying it to Cloudflare Pages for a blazing fast static site experience. First, let's prepare the website for deployment by adding some SEO metadata such as the title, description, and a few keywords. The Nox documentation page has a nice explanation of the process. The most important decision you will have to make is between the two ways of running a Nox application. So option one, server-side rendering, is a more advanced method. This is better suited for developing highly interactive pages. We'll use this method in a later video once we've added contact forms and the backend API. But for now, we'll use option two, which is static site generation. This pre-builds the web page, and after the build process, you get assets that you can host on even the most basic storage server. Another thing that the documentation mentions is that in order for the folder-based routing to work with Cloudflare, we need to set auto subfolder index to false in the Nitro settings. Nitro is the default server engine for Nuxt. Let me commit the changes we've made to the Git repo. The link will be in the video description, by the way. Hey, I just want to take a quick moment to say a huge thank you. We've just reached the 1000 subscriber milestone, which is incredible. However, I noticed a lot of you still aren't subscribed. So if you're finding my videos helpful, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow. Now let's get back to deploying the Nox app. Let's move on to the Cloudflare dashboard to configure the settings there. Scroll down on the left side menu and click on the workers and pages section. As you can see, I already have another website running on Cloudflare Pages. We're going to click on Create an Application. Deploying to Cloudflare Pages is extremely easy using the Git integration. Click on Connect to Git. Connect your GitHub account. You will need to allow Cloudflare access to the repo. Authenticate. And there we go. Now let's choose the repository and branch we want to deploy. In this case, it's the main branch. For the framework preset, I can use Noxt. And since I use bon for this project, I will change the command to bon generate. Leave the output directory as slash this. Cloudflare will go ahead and pull the repository and try to run the command. And now we encounter the error I mentioned in the intro. And this is mostly because we're using bon, which is a newer JavaScript runtime and is bound to have some issues here and there. So after doing a bit of research, it seems that Cloudflare is using an older bond version by default, which apparently has some issues with building a Nuxt application. We can force Cloudflare to use a newer version of Bon by using the Bon underscore version environment variable. And this is a good opportunity to see how you can set environment variables in Cloudflare pages. As you can see, that's pretty easy to do. After the project is built and deployed, you get a live URL where you can visit your application. And this is nice now. However, I want to use my own custom domain for this website. This is again pretty straightforward, especially since I already added my domain to Cloudflare. And I encourage you to do the same regardless of whether you're using Cloudflare pages or not. And this is because Cloudflare offers very good DDoS protection, as well as a fast CDN that improves the performance of your applications. And all of this for free. To have Cloudflare pages point the custom domain to this application, go to the custom domains tab, add a domain that you own. Now, because I added this domain to Cloudflare, it can change the DNS settings. So just click on activate domain and those records will be added automatically to the DNS settings. The DNS changes will take some time to propagate. A few minutes and a dozen refreshes later, my portfolio website is up and running. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you deploy your Nox application to Cloudflare pages using Bond. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you run into some issues when deploying to Cloudflare pages, write a comment down below. Let's help each other out and see you in the next one.